hey youtube family welcome back to the video i hope you guys are doing extremely well so friends in this video i will discuss most important and frequently asked mcqs of unit number two of phy 110 and unit number two is laser and and its application okay so i have already uploaded the videos of unit number one in which i have discussed 20 most important mcqs of unit number one so if you guys have not watched that videos please go through the playlist or you can visit the description box where you will find the link of that video do not miss any one of the question all that 60 questions are very important so let's proceed with the first question first question is in a laser the process where atoms absorb energy and move to higher energy level is known as what option number a is spontaneous emission option number b stimulated emission option number c is absorption and last option is population inversion correct option is option number c which is absorption absorption is the correct option next question what term describe the release of light energy by an atom when it returns from an excited state to its ground state option number a absorption option number b a spontaneous emission option number c is stimulated emission and last option is population inversion and the correct option is option number b which is a spontaneous emission a spontaneous emission is the correct option next question which of the following is not a process in the operation of a laser option number a population inversion option number b absorption option number c is stimulated emission and last option is a spontaneous emission correct option of this question is population inversion next question the phenomena where atoms in a laser move from higher energy level to the ground state due to the interaction with photon is known as what option number a absorption option number b a spontaneous emission option number c is stimulated emission and last option is population inversion you guys might have seen that all uh, in all these four question options are same but the answers are different because the questions are different correct option is option number c which is stimulated emission next question what is the purpose of a resonant cavity in a laser system option number a to amplify the laser output option number b is to provide power power to the laser option number c is to cool down the laser medium and last option is to generate population inversion correct option is option number a which is to amplify the laser output next question sixth number question which of the following laser material is commonly used in medical application it's a very important question the probability is very high for this question option number a he any laser option number b is ndyaz laser option number c is semiconductor and last option is co2 correct option is option number b which is ndyaz laser next question in a laser population inversion is achieved by what option number a pumping energy into the laser medium option number b cooling down the laser medium option number c reducing the energy level of atom and last option is allowing natural decay of excited state correct option is option number a which is pumping energy into the laser medium next question the term meta stable state refers to what option number a a state of high energy in the laser medium option number b the state of stable long-lived atomic excitation option number c a state of rapid spontaneous emission and last option is a state of low energy in the laser medium correct option is option number b which is the state of stable long-lived atomic excitation ninth number question what do einstein a and b coefficient describe in the context of laser option number a the absorption and bending of light in a laser cavity option number b the behavior of atoms in a resonant cavity option number c the probability of a spontaneous and stimulated emission and last option is the power supply for laser operation correct option is the probability of a spontaneous and stimulated emissions described in the context of laser next question 10th number question so guys if you guys are in 
are enjoying watching the videos please do not forget to like the button and please subscribe the channel and share these videos in every group please 10th number question which of the following is is a common excitation mechanism for laser option number a electron bombardment option number b absorption of uv light option number c is cooling down the laser medium and last option is decreasing the population inversion correct option is electron electron bombardment is the common excitation mechanism for laser next question the acronym ndyaz laser refers to a type of laser material what does nd stand for is it neon nitrogen dioxide neodymium or nickel diode correct option is neodymium yeah in a he any laser what type of gas mixture is used as the lasing medium option number a helium and neon it's a very important question option number b hydrogen and nitrogen option number c is helium and argon and last option is helium and krypton correct option is helium and neon next question option number uh, sorry 13th number question which type of laser is known for its efficient efficiency and is commonly used in optical communication option number a co2 laser option number b hne laser option number c is semiconductor laser and last option is ndyaz laser correct option is semiconductor laser 14th number question lasing action in a laser occurs due to option number a population inversion option number b a spontaneous emission option number c is cooling for of the laser medium and last option is absorption of light correct option is population inversion okay next question the acronym co2 in a co2 laser stands for what is it carbon of carbon oxygen 2 or is it carbon oxide 2 carbon dioxide 2 or carbon octane 2 correct option is carbon dioxide 2 okay next question which property of lasers allows them to produce highly directional and coherent light beams option number a low intensity option number b high divergence option number c is monochromatic monochromaticity and last option is high dispersion correct option is high dispersion next question what is the primary applications of holography in the field of lasers option number a medical imaging option number b is data storage option number c is laser cutting and d number option is 3d image and display correct option is 3d imaging and display next question the process of creating a hologram is based on the principle of diffraction, dispersion, absorption or reflection. Correct option is diffraction. Next question. Which laser type is commonly used in barcode scanner and CD or DVD players? Option number A, HE laser. Option number B, CO2 laser. Option number C is NDYAZ laser. And last option is semiconductor laser very important question this is because it's based on application of laser do not miss this question this is the only questions in this entire session which is on based on the application of layer and it's a very important question correct option is he any laser last question is in a semiconductor laser lasing action is achieved through the recombination of what option number a electrons and Positron option number B is electrons and holes option number B neutrons and protons and last option is electrons and neutrons Correct option is electrons and holes is the correct option Thank you so much guys for watching the videos if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel and share this video in all the groups. Thank you